Hello, welcome back. This is Damien on the Average Joe server, and we're starting out in the Nether because we have um, we have a nice little addition. Now it's not completely finished yet, but uh, Kite was working pretty hard on it today. So let's uh, let's get my bearings first off, and let's go down to where. <clears throat> I did the gas capture and uh, the uh, the road that I kind of started building up. Now you'll notice the new structure uh, here. This is my little gold farm. And uh, I'll show you more on it later. But uh, it works and it produces pretty good numbers. Now nothing like the gold farm I did with the huge portals and all that. But it does pretty good. Now let's keep our eye out for that gas while we're on our way. And this is the uh, this is the rail that I haven't finished yet. Um, I haven't been able to work on it a lot lately. And <laughs> don't take this boat. Uh, so what we have here and I brought my own boat Thanks, Kite. We have an ice road. He has actually built an ice road, and he's kind of put together uh, another hub that he's working on. It looks really good, but he's put together two ice roads so far. One to my base and one to his. Now we drop down here, and then I get turned here. And this is my normal ice road maneuvering because you know it takes me a little while but it takes 18 seconds to go from my uh, from my base to uh, to the nether and then we just uh, get out of the boat come up the little scaffolding elevator and we're in the nether hub. And see there's uh, the kite space and the my base. So yeah, it looks really cool. Um, and this is this is this is what I've I've always wanted. I wanted a hub that would take us to each other's bases and would take us to like the badlands for terracotta or deserts for sand or an iron farm, you know, something like that. A nether hub that could take you to those places. Nothing as huge and as elaborate as uh, like Hermitcraft does, but something that would just get you to where you needed to be. Um, and then when you come out here, because you remember I showed you guys, this portal is all the way at the bottom of the spawn chunk. And spawn's just a little tiny island up there. So he put in a button here, and he hit the button, and it takes you right back to spawn. Because like I said, it's way down there at the bottom. And then he's got another button here that will take you to the nether hub. So if somebody wants to come to my base to say go to the end portal, they come over here, they hit this, they take the road to my base with a boat, and they're done. Uh, let's see, now we do have an event. Now you guys know why I covered the Christmas event. Well now we're going to do the New Year's event. So let's go to the event area, and we'll step through the portal here. And we're at the event area, and he's changed it up just a little bit, but... Um, you know, not a lot. It still looks really good. But this is a, this event, you do it one time a day. If you do it with someone else who hasn't done it, they can do it and you can do it with them. So you can do it multiple times, but just as far as you doing it by yourself, you can do it one time. Okay, so this is the Golden Pig Hills. Uh, that's where the, the event, the Golden Pig Hills. And basically, this is uh, based on some uh, Asian traditions. I can't remember which, uh, which part, but uh, Asian traditions where the New Year, they celebrate with golden cats or something like that. I'm not real familiar with it, so I'm not going to say much about it. But this, we get to summon pigs, and, well, they poop gold. So... Uh, He's got it set up. It's a, a gold biome, 
which I was envious because I am after gold this season. I'm trying to farm gold like crazy. All right. So what we're going to do is it says summon pigs, one per person. So that means one time per person. Uh, and then the player has to sleep to reset it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go today. This will be my, my one time a day. So I'm going to hit the button and pigs start spawning everywhere. And you just run around and you miss. There we go. Didn't crit, but. For some reason, I'm not critting today. <laughs> But you just kill all the pigs that are here. And um, they drop. They drop nuggets. They drop gold bars. And every now and then you might get one to drop, you know, some really good stuff. Come back here, fool. Uh, but, yeah, this is the event. You're basically just chasing pigs around and taking their gold. There we go, critting now. Getting the crits going. And you get a message. All the pigs have been purged. Now, there is lore, and I almost forgot Kai would never forgive me, but there is lore here. So, um, uh, this just tells what drops off of them. But let's go. Here's the Golden Pig Hills. The legend of the Golden Pig dates back to a very long time, like two days. Um, it's said that they're corrupted... They'd like to corrupt the lands and turn them into gold. However, they must be stopped. Uh, as you can see, the gold is starting to spread the surrounding lands. Summon and kill all the pigs to help save the land from the cursed golden pig. And that's it. That's awesome. And, um, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the New Year's event. Now, I got a golden pig head. I got almost three stacks of nuggets. I got five blocks, 15 ingots. Um, so, uh, yeah, I will show you in spectator mode. I'll go up and I'll show you. He has definitely decorated it up very nicely. Uh, the gold, you can see gold taking over trees, taking over the land, slowly creeping out. Um, and like like the legend says, they want to turn everything to gold. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but I really don't have a problem with that because I can get all the gold. But no, seriously, um, it's a really cool event, and uh, I'm going to enjoy running with other people and then doing my daily. It's here till the 2nd. It's here till January the 2nd. So <clears throat> I wanted to definitely just show you the event there and... Uh, He's, he keeps reminding me of what I might be forgetting. But um, let's go back through the portal here. And I may have to cut this one short. My dog's, uh, my dog's being a little uh, uh, impatient. He needs to go out. But uh, then you come in here. Yeah, these are all the New Year's heads here. The, uh, the New Year's heads. These are cats, cat's paws, and... Um, there's really, uh, these are uh, noodles, bowls of noodles, which uh, when he first put them up there and I, I got them, I, I, I had to have a bowl of noodles myself. So, but yeah, these are all the New Year's heads and um, I really like them. I bought them all, of course, because that's just what I do. And he also, while we're on this subject of heads, he also put in a head gotcha. Here now, it costs five thousand money, and I'm not sure if I have the money on me at the moment. But uh, it has super rares in it, just like the other one does, and you do it the exact same way. You go in, you break the iron block, and you either get a chest over here, or you get a chest over here and a super rare, depending on what you roll on it. And I will show that off more in another video. Uh, I just got to make sure that that uh, I get some money up to do it. And of course, I've shown all these heads. Uh, I love the Ruby's Cube, though. The Ruby's Cube is just awesome. The little skull. But, um, so that's New Year's event. These, uh, I haven't gotten all these yet, I don't believe. But uh, I'm going to come back and do a double check, because that raises another um, 
subject that I uh, I have to uh, address, and that's pretty much I've got heads everywhere, and um, I've got heads everywhere, and I am running out of room, and I want to get them all put together based on you know what they are. Uh, that seems like common sense to me now, but back then I was just throwing heads up wherever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange all the heads in like the order the block heads and seasonal heads of Christmas stuff, you know, which is seasonal. But anyway, you know, putting them all together like that. <clears throat> now, since my dog has calmed down a little bit, I'm going to show you a couple of other things. Uh, here's the house. You, of course, know this and all the heads everywhere. So, uh, but that's not exactly what I had in mind. Now, we have started on uh, a storage unit down here, and it takes a little bit to load. It's a lot of chests down here, and uh, it's going to be automated with a sorter, and we're going to do uh, shulkers. And so each one of these chests will have to be filled up with shulkers to actually be full. So I'm going to need, like, I don't know, 115,000 shulker boxes. So I've been actually working on that just a bit. I've got some chests made up over here, and I've got some shells because I AFK'd at the farm over there. You guys remember the farm from the last video. And I've been able to fill up quite a few chests full of shulker boxes, but not nearly enough. However, I don't need 115000 right now. So uh, whatever I get, we can just start filling in uh, once we get the thing, the system up and running. And we're going to try to make it where it doesn't cause lag. We're going to put like an on-off switch over here. So whenever I put stuff in the chest, I can flip it on and it'll sort everything out and uh, put it where it goes in, the, in all the chests. And when it's done, I can turn it back off. That way it's not going to lag the server into oblivion. Because right now, um, even though the server is rated for 150 people, uh, it has problems with eight people. So... I'm actually looking for alternatives on that too, but the next thing is um, I'm showing you here. This is a witch farm uh, because, you know, Kite added where if you have Silk Touch on your pickaxe, you can get a spawner. And what I did is I got a spawner and I brought it here. I built this, uh, let me get up here. It's a 16 by 16 and it's three blocks high. 16 by 16 and three blocks high. And I put the witch spawner in there, and then I covered the ground in wither roses. I bought a bunch more wither roses. And, well, the cart's not running right now because there are other things that are spawning in here besides witches, which I don't mind. Uh, I, when I'm not using the farm, I don't mind. When I am using the farm, I want the little witches to be coming out. See the little witch in there? Um and they get on these and they die and then i have a system down here that this is uh this is something kite uh hang on let me he he gets on to me every time because i don't do the f3n thing but i'm getting there uh so i'm going to turn this on real quick and just let it go do its thing for a minute and i had designed the rails and everything but oh there there, there go the witches now that i'm in the area um but I had designed the rails and everything. However, the hopper was getting full and the, 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 the farm was just shutting down. It wasn't doing anything. I wasn't getting anything but sticks. And um, so he came through and he put power rails out and set it up a lot different than I had it. Um, and now we're going to shut it off because I, I don't. Uh, it's going to make another round to pick up all the, uh, the stuff. Yeah, nothing's in here now, so we're good. I love this, uh, I love this golden pig head. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Golden pig head. That's awesome. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> everybody knows that I am collecting gold right now. I'm making, uh, golden apples and enchanted golden apples and, um, I'm, I'm going through gold like uh, like it's nobody's business. So that's actually a really good... But it's also why he limited the event, because he didn't want anybody to just get everything. 
All right, so the cart's parked, and just uh, just picking stuff up. This is pretty much what we got from what was left there. So I'm going to leave the area because I'm not going to AFK at the farm just yet. But that is the witch farm, uh, and, and, I mean, it works great. And another thing I was going to show you, you remember me building these farms and how I use redstone and repeaters and all that. Kite has actually come up with a different way to do it. And basically, you hit this note block, and it sends a signal into the observer, which farts the signal all the way down the rails here to another observer, which does the same thing, which goes to repeaters and comparators uh, into this block and down this rail and into these three observers, which fires the water off. So now that I've gone through all that with you, I'm just going to show you. So we're going to come down here. I'm going to go into survival because I'm an idiot and I will break something if I don't. Uh, and that's not survival, dumbass. Survival. There we go. And then I'm going to put one note, and you can see it works just like the other farm. And then you heard that click. I don't have to hit this again. It sucks the water back up by itself on a timer. Now, as far as hoppers, because hoppers are causing a lot of lag, and I hate that because I love hoppers. We have water streams. You put water strains in here that go into these two hoppers, which pushes everything where it needs to go. And then all I have to do is come in here, grab whatever whatever's on the farm, just grab it. And I have to be very careful not to mess the dirt up. But I jump in the water stream, and then I get up, and usually I'm good. And then I just come through here, and I replant. And the thing works amazing. And there's less lag on the server because I'm not using the, the redstone wiring, which can cause lag. And uh, there's, not, there's not as many hoppers. There are six less hoppers in the system. Now there are only two. There used to be three on this side and three on that side. So there are six less hoppers on each farm. And let's go back into creative. And I've got one, two, three, four farms right here that he upgraded. Uh, now, all my farms aren't upgraded, but all these are. These these four are upgraded. So, um, I mean, just note block into observer, down the rails into another observer. Uh, this repeater is set for, what, four ticks, three ticks? And then redstone dust into comparators around to this block, which powers these rails, which tells these observers to fire their water. Um, and it's beautiful. It works great. So, uh, I wanted to show you that too because I've been building the old farms that way since, you know, season one. So this is a new way to do it. Now, on my Let's Play, I'm probably just going to have to build like I, you know, the old way until I can get the note blocks and get the observers and the gold, and the gold up for the rounds and all that. But uh, as soon as I can upgrade, I'm going to upgrade to this system because this system is so much better than the other one. Uh, other than that, uh, I was going to show you, uh, I was going to show you the gold, the little, the little gold farm that I made up. But yeah, that's a storage system. You've seen the event and the, and the new farms. You've already seen that. That thing produces like stupid. Um, I usually get 11, 11 to 12 stacks after I AFK for four or five hours. So yeah, it's it's slightly overpowered, but we're in, uh, you know, we're doing in-game stuff, so it's not that bad right now. Now back into my nether hub here. I am in creative, so down here, and again, there's a lot of hoppers here, but for right now, I didn't have much choice. So there's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. 21. There's 21 hoppers here, but I didn't really have much choice at the moment because I had to come up with some kind of way. I had to come up with some kind of way to actually get the uh, get the drops because before that I was coming out of the uh, I was I call it a deer stand. I was coming out of the deer stand and running around picking up all the drops, and the pigmen were still pissed off at me. So let me see if I can locate this uh, this gas. Give me just a second. She is making a lot. There she is. 
Did, did it go right through her? Apparently. All right. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pick up that gas here. Although, I, well, I'll throw it away. Uh, let's just get rid of it. I don't want it laying there on the ground. So, how this works is you come in here, open this trap door, and I, I, I suck at trap doors. But you get there and you close the trap door again. That's very important that you close that trap door. If you don't, you're going to get bum rushed. And then you come over here, open this trap door, and you hop out into the farm. And then I'm going to go into survival so this will actually work. Pull out my bow. And let's see if I can pop one of these guys. And here they come. And they'll come from all around that, that detect me shooting them. They'll come from all over. Uh, there's not a lot in here right now. Let's see if I can get one of these guys. Yeah, let's see if we can bring some of those over. Now, where'd these guys go? Oh, there they are. All right. And then they're all going to, because I stand right here, and they're all going to get right here in my face trying to get me. And then I just swi swipe at them. And I get my gold bars there that, that popped up on top of the trap doors. And then when, when more spawn, you just uh, give them a little poke. And they'll come running in. And since it's not a, a big drop, they'll drop right onto the hoppers. And we got a little bit of lag going on, but not a lot. So, And then you just, you just give them another swipe with the sword. I have uh, I have sweeping edge on the sword. I, I designed the sword specifically for this farm. Uh, it's got unbreaking looting smite five because they're all undead. Fire aspect sweeping edge so I can get all of them and then mending of course. Um, and then once you once you're done in the farm or or you've ran out in this area, I'm gonna build I'm gonna build three or four of these. But once you're done in this area, you just come down here and you grab all your loot and. Go back down in here. This is also a safe room. Say a gas starts attacking you, come down in here and just wait for a little while and uh, they'll back off. You know, But that's the farm and that's just that easy. Um, and then, now you can do it one of two ways. You can come out of the farm and kill the uh, magma slime. Because those pigmen don't seem to be too upset at the moment. And you can get rid of these these guys. And then you can run in the elevator and go straight up. Which is what I usually do because I just want to, you know, get up here. You're safe in the box here. Nothing can get to you in here. And you can heal up, and uh, you can either run for the portal or teleport out or whatever you want to do. But, um, you know, I usually just come in here and not really worry much about it. There's another portal down there, but it goes out to the backside where the gas catcher was. Now, this portal is really funny because um, I have the really big portal in the hall in the uh, the cave over there. Everybody knows about that. Well, I shut it down um, because there was getting pigment in there, and you know I just didn't use it. And I was trying to catch a gas, and I didn't want the gas to go through that portal, so I shut it down. And I went to Mushroom Island. I built another portal, and I started trying to get through there because on the Mushroom Island, if you go through the portal on Mushroom Island, it takes you to my base in the Nether, which is strange because it's you know, 500 blocks away. But uh, anyway, I, I don't understand how all that worked. So I went through my portal at my base in the nether to get back to Mushroom Island, but it brought me here, actually, where this one is. And I was like, well, that sucks. So I tore it down. And I did the process over again. And it brought me here. And I made this portal. So it's determined to put a portal right here. However... Whenever I built the gas portal to get the gas through, it didn't use that one or the Mushroom Island portal. Uh, it just said, hey, Damien, we're not going to use any of that. We're going to come over here and make a portal. 
So that's what it did. It made a portal here. So, I, like I said, I don't understand all the game mechanics of how the portals are working, but that's what happened with the portals. So that should just about cover everything that I've been doing. And um, I showed you the event. That's really cool. And New Year's is almost on us, folks. So I hope you guys had a great Christmas. And uh, I hope your New Year's is a lot of fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Uh, we'll have another video out soon. And I will definitely see you on that one. This has been Damien. And goodbye.